Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of the series on how to set up a 5M server. In today's video, I want to be teaching you guys how to add Aux Inventory into your server and also how to add shops and items and all of that kind of stuff with Aux Inventory. If you didn't watch part 1 and you're interested in doing that, in part 1 we actually set up our 5M server, so our base and everything like that. So if you haven't already, go watch that video and then come back to this one. Or if you want to go ahead and just install Aux Inventory to your current server, it's very simple to do. And again, this is going to be a guide for ESX, so if you're on other frameworks, it might be slightly different, but it should be a very similar process. If for whatever reason you're on a different framework or you can't get this to work make sure you guys come over and join the discord where you guys can get help from professional 5m developers and developers in general we've been doing this for about five years so we know a thing or two about 5m development with that being said let's get right into it so first things first we're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go ahead and go to the link in the description from the link in the description it should bring you straight to this page here this is going to be the aux inventory download if you are confused overextended the official developers of aux inventory actually ended up leaving the community meaning there is no more updates and their resources are no longer to be, and that means their resources are no longer going to be maintained so with that these community aux here they actually took over the project so they're going to be maintaining doing updates and things like that to all overextended resources so that's why we're going to be using community aux because it's the literal same thing it's just going to be more up to date more secure code more up to date code things like that so again this link will be in the description below go here and you're going to want to go ahead and download this here one thing that's important is if you are on this page here make sure you go to releases and download the release i'm going to be leaving this exact one down in the description below so that way you can actually um come straight here do not download it like this unless you know what you're doing because the ui will not be built so so aux inventory will have some requirements so we're going to need to actually download oxlib as well if you want to download oxlib i'm also going to be leaving the uh leaving this in the description as well so we're going to go here and then we're just going to go to the releases and again i'll leave this exact thing so you can click the link and come straight here and then we're just going to hit this here so now once you've downloaded aux inventory and oxlib we're going to go back to our files from there we're going to go into our resources and if you did follow our guide we have a folder called core core is going to be all of our core resources from here we're going to create another folder inside of here and we're going to be calling this aux or ox whatever you're going to call it from there we're going to open that folder and we're we're going to go ahead and open oxlib and we're going to go ahead and drag that and drop that right into here from there we're going to go ahead and open ox inventory as well and then we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that right into here from there all we're going to do is go into our 5m server artifacts and go ahead and start up the server so esx actually automatically adds capabilities and you know connections to aux inventory so you do not have to touch anything you literally just drag and drop it and everything else will take care of itself that's why i like esx it makes it super simple and everything like that so now we're going to go ahead and open up 5m and load into the server and see if aux inventory is working all right so now we're in here we're going to go ahead and hit our character now that we're in here inventory is ready to use we're going to press f2 and there you guys go as you guys see we have aux inventory if we actually pause the game we will actually see these shops here so aux inventory comes pre-configured with different shops as you see here shop uh shop and so on but most importantly make sure you guys give yourself admin in your server again if you watch our part one of the series you will already understand how to do that but if you haven't already watched that then you need to make sure you guys go and watch that so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your aux folder your aux inventory and then go to data from data you're going to see all these different things here this is going to be essentially the only folder you're really going to want to touch and files that you're going to want to touch inside of aux inventory so the one that we're going to be in mostly is going to be the items.lua alongside items.lua is shops.lua so in both of these you're going to be able to see all the shops and all of the items in the server so for example right now we can actually go and give ourselves one of these items so we're just going to give ourselves the bandage we're going to go copy this we're going to come into the game and we're just going to do we're going to press f8 and we're going to do give item and then rd is one and we're going to paste bandage and we're going to do one and then there you go it went ahead and gave me a bandage and as you can see i can actually use it because built into aux inventory already has functionality for it so there's that so let's say i want to make another item what i can actually do is copy this paste this and let's say i want to make this um instead of bandage let's do let's do healer right you can name it literally whatever you want right here this is going to be the spawn code of the item label is going to be the actual item inside of the inventory like the label name so we're, let's do healer the weight is going to be the weight inside the inventory so let's just do um 250 and then client this is going to be essentially for like more custom scripts to make items actually do things so what we're actually going to do is we're just going to remove that for now um, obviously scripts or developers will actually go ahead and pre-install those most likely for you so you won't have to worry about it right now i just want to teach you guys how to actually add items so we had added a uh, healer from here if you actually try and spawn that right now right if we do give item one healer one it's going to say it's invalid item or just not give it right as you can see so if we actually just press f8 and type restart aux inventory what that's going to do is it's going to restart our inventory and then once you see the notification inventory is ready to use now we can actually do give item one healer one and as you see it went ahead and gave us the item so one thing you'll notice that there is no image for the item so to add images to items what you're going to want to do is go back into aux inventory you're going to want to go to aux inventory web images 
this is where you're going to add item images for all of your different items in the server. It needs to be the exact same as the spawn codes. For example, healer needs to be healer. Black underscore money needs to be black underscore money, not dirty money. If it's this, it will not work. It uses the actual spawn code for the to, to get the image. So, for example, what we're going to do is we're going to go to bandage and we're just literally going to copy and paste this in here. And we're going to rename this healer. From there, we're going to come back in game. We're going to press F8. We're going to restart Ox inventory. Now, if we press F2, there you go. Now we have our item image. So you can get item images off Google. You can get item images off of wherever. And then all you got to do is add them into that folder and make it the spawn code. So that's how you can add items into Ox inventory. Now let's talk about shops. How can you manage shops? How can you make new shops? And how can you add items and change prices inside the shops? Well, let's go back to our Ox inventory folder. We're going to go to Ox inventory, data, and we're going to go to shops. From here, there's already some pre-installed shops. So for example, shop here is going to be just your default shop. So let's go to one of these coordinates. If I copy the coordinates and I come back in game and I press F8 and type TX, I can then go here to chords and paste the chords and actually teleport to the coordinates. So as you see, I'm in here. I press E. We have the burger and we have a water. If I go back in here, as you see, we have burger, water, and cola. So one thing is, if you see how this is blank, that's because cola does not exist. If we go into items and we search cola, as you see, it does not exist. So that's why there is nothing here. So if I want to add more items, all I'm going to do is literally come in here and take the spawn code. So for example, let's add our healer. We're going to do healer. We're going to come in here, make name healer, and let's make it $1,000 to buy it. So now all we do, come in here, F8, restart Ox inventory. We press this, boom. Now we have our item in here for $1,000, right? So it's super easy to add items, to manage items, to and all that kind of stuff. To actually add more shops, it's also super simple. All you literally need to do is go to where you want your shop. You can do slash TX. And then just copy chords. You can also install a copy chord script. Just TX makes it easy. So we're just going to copy chords. From there, we're going to come into here. And we're actually going to just copy and paste a line down here. And replace the chords with this. If you're using target, you can use target. Which is going to be aux target. That's a whole different thing. We're not going to be using that in this, uh, in this series. So we're just going to ignore that for now and use this. So we're going to paste the new coordinates. We come back in here. And we restart the inventory again. Baby, you wouldn't believe and now we have a new shop right here. Right. But what happens if we want an actual different shop completely where it has different items inside of it? Well, it's super simple. All we got to do is come up here, copy this here and come down here and paste. Right. We're going to remove all these targets because we don't need all of these. We're also going to remove all of these locations because we don't need all these locations. We're going to leave one for an example, but we don't need all those locations. Right. Let's set a shop right out here by this palm tree. So, again, we're going to TX copy cords and we're going to set the location right here. Then we're going to change general to whatever you want the shop name to be. This just needs to be unique because this isn't this right. And this name here is what's going to show into the inventory. So, for example, if you go into one of these shops here and we open it, as you see, it says shop up here. Name equals shop. So that's basically what will show in the inventory. This here is just for the back end of the thing. So it just needs to be unique. It, it is not used for anything. It just needs to be unique. So we're going to just name it Palm Tree. Right. So then let's say the name of this is going to be Palm Tree. This is going to be the name of our store. If you want a blip, you can uh, go to the 5M blips uh, documentation and get IDs and colors and things like that. Uh, we're not going to want any blip for this, so you can actually just remove it like this. Boom. So now there's not going to be any blips. From here, I'm going to remove the water and burger and only add the healer. I'm going to make the healer $100. So now if we come back in game and we restart inventory again. As you see, we hit this. Now I have a healer. This is our palm tree and it's $100. And we come in here. We also have our other shop, which is our typical shop here. So that's how you can add multiple different shops and you can add multiple different things. You can also add weapons into these. So we can actually copy this down and we can do weapon underscore pistol. Come back in game, restart our inventory. And as you see, our, we have a pistol in here that we can also buy. Oh, Lord. So anyway, that's how you guys can install Locks Inventory. If you guys have any questions or you guys need further support, make sure you guys come over to my Discord. Like I said, you will be able to find, you know, professional developers over there. You'll be able to get, uh, you know, help from the community and everything like that. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys subscribe and uh, see you guys later.